Everybody's fine. Yep, everybody's good. I appreciate you, Axe. Yeah, no, I just wanted to make sure that... Yeah, that's you know, love. I appreciate that. Like, was that worrisome? Like, when you see that barreling down, he's obviously safe from the Katrina, like, uh, start? Definitely worried about it, you know, from the past. But, um, you know, I always try to, try to keep the best hopes into it. Uh, just hope it's just a little flooding and power loss and not too long. Nothing too, you know, devastating. Family, did your family come up here? Uh, some did. Some did, yep. So, I mean, football, no easy way to transition from football, but from a football perspective... What are you anticipating this, your role in this defense actually being now that you're going to be out there and playing a bit more? Um, definitely being vocal, um, bringing the tempo, and making sure guys are lined up and, you know, flying around playing, playing ball. That's about it. How's it coming together as a collective uh, operation with you know, new guys and uh, new assignments and so forth? I like the way everything meshed. We've been meshing pretty good, working hard out here. Um, you know, everybody's owning their role and flying around, and the coaches are doing a good job making sure we're on task and, and detailed and making sure we're prepared. How much uh, difference is it for you in a different alignment than what you've been used to? Um, it's not that bad. Uh, it's still stacked back, so, I mean, a lot of the same movements, a lot of the same, a lot of the same vision I used to have just from another spot, but everything else is all good. It's been fun. The With first a guy like Dorian Etheridge, can you kind of just speak to, to yeah. what he's been in that room. I mean, it's really always fun thing to kind of get a free agent. Yeah. Uh, so Doran's doing really good. Uh, he's catching on fast. Uh, you know, still got his uh, rookie angst, but we're trying to loosen him up and get him flowing. But other than that, he's learning well. He's flying around and he's get, really getting the grasp of the defense. How much do you think this, I mean, just going to have, being able to have like a rookie minicamp, OTAs, yeah. as normal preseason, or as normal preseason that you can have, how did that, do you think, impact him? Uh, that was awesome. Uh, he got the reps beforehand. Um, you know, last year we just kind of jumped into camp and didn't have a preseason. Uh, but he's got a lot of reps. He's he's been grasping the defense and and, uh, and with live bullets. So uh, he's been doing great. He's been uh, embracing this role also. This first game uh, with a new staff. And there's there's so many unknowns and everything. Is there anything that you can you can say at this point that you know about this team? One thing I know is uh, we're gonna be lined up. We're gonna be physical. We're gonna be fast. Um, and flying around, full to effort. We just got a report on Jalen Hurts. I'm just getting after him. What are your, what's your attack with Jalen? Um, I mean, down. he's a good quarterback. He's going to run around. Just managing him, and um, when it's our time to get him on the ground, we just have to get him on the ground. How is it difficult preparing for a team that you play multiple times, but it's a whole new staff that's like over here? Um, you know, uh, they do a good job at preparing us, making sure we have all the looks we need. Um, from all types of cut-ups, man. Uh, but like I said, they're doing a good job of making sure we are ready for whatever they throw at us. And like I said, just flying around and being on point going to get us a dub. At this point in your career, do you get nervous or butterflies or anything just for this just like first game? Uh, just anxious. Uh, at this point, I'm ready to run around and start hitting. But, you know, just taking it day by day. And um, like I said, taking it day by the time, a day at a time. Go back to when uh, Dean Pease was hired as a defense coordinator. Did y'all kind of have like a conversation about, you know, he had career high sacks last year before and half sacks, and mm -hmm. now going into a, a defense going to get a little bit more pressure. Did you and Dean Pease kind of have a conversation about, all right, here's how I can, you know, make you step up your level? Again? Not not really. Um, It was just we, we came in with no entitlement, so everyone had to work for what they wanted. And uh, whatever's up for me is just a product of how, how, how much we flew around and and make plays at practice. So whatever he has up for me, I'm up for it. Anything else? Uh, Calvin really gave us a little preview of his uh, game plan about these wings from uh, Car Wash. What is your kind of like your pre-game routine to look like? Does is there specific food that you need or anything? Coaches and superstitious, like anything you do? Nah, uh, I'm ready as soon as I get out of bed. Um, just more of like, I guess, type of music I want to listen to. Or I'm gonna drink, but. No, no real rituals, no. So what kind of music do you listen to? Depends on how I'm feeling that day. <laughs> That's all. It just depends. So, uh, yeah, nothing, nothing major though. Nothing major at all. Would you try wings from a car wash? Oh, for sure. <laughs> as long as they're lemon pepper, I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> if they're lemon pepper, I'm there. Wet or dry? Either or. Okay. Either or. And now we're all hungry. All right. Blue Williams, <laughs> have you tried those? Of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course. Right. Of course. We'll bring them next time. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what do you think are the best wings in the city? 
Well, that's tough. Uh, I'm up to get at you. Back up now. I gotta yeah, go try some more places. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know. You started listening to them, so I wasn't yeah. sure. Uh, I ain't got too many. I got a couple, but I gotta got go try all of them. I don't want to leave nobody out. <laughs> You're done. All right. <laughs> Y'all have a good one. All right. Thanks, guys. Hey, appreciate y'all.